What is going on you guys? It's your boy Jack Spira and if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do me a favor and like this video. Helps uh, move the content around, helps me get the videos out there. If you guys notice something new, do you guys notice anything, any, any shakiness in the video? You shouldn't because I leveled up. I got the GoPro Hero 8. Obviously you can't see it because you know I'm filming on it. But so you guys should be getting a lot better quality video, a little less shaky, a little better resolution, a little better everything. So I am on the water, but I am on the paddle board. I brought a couple of a uh, couple of things with me and I'm going on a solo mission island camping. I didn't bring any food with me. So actually I did. I lied. I brought some jerky. That's going to be worst case scenario. I have to eat some deer jerky that I got. If you want to see that video, go ahead. The link should be up somewhere in the corner. Uh, but I am, as you can see, I'm in backwater. Backwater, it's super shallow right here. Something's just exploding the bait over there. But yeah, so I am going to be using a fishing rod. And I brought some shrimp with me, and I'm probably going to be using a bucktail jig tipped with shrimp. And that'll be nice because I can, uh, I can jerk it, use it as like a jerk bait, and I can also let it sit on the bottom and maybe catch any snapper or something like that but hopefully i get something to eat and i'm glad i can bring you guys with me on this cool little overnighter adventure everything i need to camp with is all packed up in here in this bag and my backpack so should be interesting i'll show you all my gear once i get to the island but i need to kind of beat that sunset i need to get uh get on the island get all this stuff set down so i can go and start slaying some fishies so I'm pumped I can bring you guys with me. So stay tuned. We made it. All I know is that going back is gonna hopefully be a lot easier because I'll be going with the wind. But yeah, look at this. Nice water. Island's right there. Little island all to myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get situated and then I will start fishing, hopefully get some dinner. Alright. So let me see if I can find a good spot. I kind of want a spot with wind, and the wind is on that side of the island. So this spot would be a no bueno. Oh, so one thing you wanna check out, you see this line, best, uh, best little landmark you can use. You, the tide is always going out and in, and you don't want to set up, say, over here, where it's, you know, looks fine now, but in probably maybe five hours, four hours in the middle of the night, that that tide is going to lift up and the water is coming going to be all the way up to here which is crazy because it's super low right now it's all the way out there so it's coming all the way up to here so this spot won't be bad at least it'll be protected and uh away from the tide line this is about as high as it'll be and i would be up in there so um but the question is i'm probably going to want to breeze so i'm probably gonna have to go to the other side of sea island and see what we got going over there. But I might just store my stuff here for now. All right, so I got everything ashore, and this is what I'm rocking with. Got the paddle board, and this is what I'm using, a little bucktail jig, and I got a piece of shrimp on it. That way, you know, it's scented, something will, you know, see it. I also have an extra Yozuri in case, you know, I need to use it, and I got the extra shrimp. I'm gonna paddle out. Uh, I don't know where I want to go. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. And I'm winging this, so I need something to eat. I have to get some kind of food, so I have to catch something. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're going to this giant surge breaker. And, oh God. Oh, that felt good. All right, we're going to this giant wall. And normally it's not. It's nice because it's super low tide. And I'm gonna fish off it. It'll be a lot better, a little more stable than the uh, than the paddleboard. But yeah, I'm gonna hop off. Alright. I go like how There we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh my god, let's see what happens. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Oh. <laughs> that my friends is a schoolmaster <laughs> yeah baby i'm gonna eat <laughs> dude i mean it's kind of funny because i always make fun of the people who like get super stoked on this kind of stuff it's really not that big but it's all that i have and i'm pretty sure these guys have to be 10 inches and this dude is way over 10 inches so i am freaking stoked oh my god right here on the island i am going to feed <sighs> all right so got one fish i'm going to try to get a mangrove snapper if i could choose what to have i would definitely choose mangrove snapper over schoolmaster but either are fine and this fish this is perfect size, all right? Um, these fish, they don't grow very big. So whenever you get a really big one, it's super old and they have a high chance of ciguatera. So those of you guys going to the Bahamas, just know that there's some groupers and definitely schoolmasters that have a high chance of having ciguatera. And they're those guys with like the stripes. Mainly you can know them because of the yellow fins. So, but yeah, rule of thumb, little schoolmasters, okay. Giant schoolmasters, eh. You're uh, you're playing with fire there. Sure. Oh, I see. Oh my God, they're so close. Yeah, sure. Oh, they're chasing after it. Oh, bastard. See if you can see, once this thing hits the water, they are all over it. Can you see them shiny? Oh God, God. Oh. All right, baby. All right, schoolmaster's going back. Mangrove, Ooh, you got lucky, lucky, lucky. Schoolmaster, swimmer. Look at that. Those have to be 10 inches and I got them. Ooh, dude, this is a hot spot. I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these missions. Holy crap. Mangrove, those gotta be 10 inches. My hand is 13, so. Actually, no, probably, I think, I say my hand's probably 12, and that guy's at least 13 inches. 13 inch mangrove, well, I don't have a box, because he's going straight on the grill. Pumped, baby! Woo! <laughs> Yo! Me out here, by myself, nobody else, and I'm camping, and I'm cooking, and I'm going to eat tonight! Yeah! Dude, so this is freaking crazy. I had no idea. I was very, very skeptical about coming out here with no food. I was like, ah, I'm probably not gonna catch anything, but we'll see what happens, yada, yada, yada. But it is working, baby. Catching everything on the little uh, spin fisher. What is it? Uh, 
3500 on an ugly stick inshore edition and using nothing but bucktail tipped with shrimp and i love those bucktails because you can jerk them super hard and to where it attracts fish and you can also just let it sit on the bottom and fish will come up and take a bite because uh it's tipped with shrimp so they want to eat the shrimp so you'll catch everything from snapper to snook to whatever but i'm actually going to go ahead and try for snook i've seen them here diving here before and uh those of you who don't dive i like doing fishing and diving because it gives you a little inside scoop and look at stuff because i would have never come here if i hadn't done this before and seen how loaded with snapper it was so i'm going to try to get a snook uh, i'm probably going to shut the gopro off if i get something good i will smash the record button and in the meantime why don't you guys smash that like button it helps me out and if you're not already definitely subscribe and so i can bring you more adventures like this oh no freaking way just caught another one this guy's a little oh, oh, little smaller a little livelier but i'm going to put him back ah oh those of you guys don't know trick these are spiny you see those things it's not good best thing to do start at the front of the head and roll your hand back over the spines good way to to grab them go ahead and release this guy dude these guys are smashing this they are literally inhaling it they must be super hungry or it's where the sun is or something, but I don't know. Oh, get him! Get him! Oh, 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 oh. Another one! Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Little trick. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> They're hammering it. Oh, my God. Oh, what is that? Ah, oh, a spot. I got a spot. <laughs> oh, dude, I've never caught one of these. I see them all the time. Never eaten them, though. If anybody knows how this fish tastes, it's called a spot. I'm pretty sure. Or a mahara? Is that a mahara? I don't know. I think it's a spot. I don't know if you could guess why they call it a spot. <laughs> but i have never tried one before so go ahead and comment below if you've tried this before and if so how do you cook it and maybe next time i come out here i will maybe cook this guy up because i see <laughs> tons of them their population won't be hurting whatsoever there we go Good. <laughs> look what i found no bueno people no bueno Let's see if i can fish for it Got it. No bueno, people. I'll definitely be taking this back. Actually, why don't I throw my fish in it? A little dual purpose. That way you won't. Oh my god, look at all that bait. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Hundreds, or probably thousands and thousands of glass minnows. No wonder this place is loaded. So I have all this extra bait. I'm just gonna dump it here. That way all the fish is thriving and loving life. And I'm not gonna do anything else with it. I'm definitely not gonna bring it back to the island. Stuff will stink. Don't have a cooler, so put it to good use. I think it's getting kind of dark, so I'm probably gonna go set up the hammock, set up camp, and I think the tide is coming in. And all of this, you see that? All this is gonna disappear. And then, uh, yeah, so, and as you can see, there's like barnacles and stuff on here. That's why you, know, you can tell it's been underwater. But I'm going to go ahead and grab the fish, grab the bait, grab the trash, and head over to the little island and call in an evening, fishing at least. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up the camp, set up all that jizunk, and I'll see you guys back at the island. All right, everyone, so running a little low on daylight, but I picked my spot out. I got a nice little open area, enough area for some wind to come in and save me from the sand flies, or also known as no seams, also known as midges, and they suck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna fillet that snapper, just so I have the fillets done with, and I'm gonna come in here and set up camp so everything out there is done for, done with, and I can come in and start cooking up. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my knife and go fillet that snapper up. Dude, this is sick. So on my way down to the beach to fillet this thing on the paddleboard, came across this. Look at it, it's moving. Isn't that sick? It's 
it's like a type of starfish but yeah i can go ahead and give him a little boost actually i'll just leave him that tight's coming in and he knows it and he's about to get uh, a nice little shower so best thing to do if you see something like that go ahead and leave it because there's a reason it's doing whatever it's doing but right now let me get into the wings fish Look at that baby not a whole lot but it's probably just enough for dinner and maybe mixed with some of that deer jerky i got and that's dinner baby let me go cook it up all right you guys so i got all my swag set up got my hammock here there's all my stuff my drone all that stuff i got a sleeping bag and an inflatable pillow so i'll go ahead and go inside of here for the time being i'll go ahead and sit here while i cook this is what i got for cooking stuff i got all my you know random things in there Got a little burner, got some, uh, I don't know, some kind of uh, butane gas thing. And I brought some peanut oil. I also got some rice flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and batter that fish up in the rice flour, get this peanut oil super hot, and drop them in and cook them for a little while and eat them. This is camp. This is camp, this is cooking. Okay, so probably one of the coolest things about this setup i got are these all right it's a little solar little solar thing and when you turn it on look at that boom don't need them yet but when it gets dark i will have this place lit the freak up all right here we go <laughs> gonna go ahead and flip this stuff see if i can do it successfully with just the knife done stuff is cooked good and yeah i think it's not a problem overcooking it especially in this batter but hell yeah Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. check that out boom makes all the difference so I am straight chilling. Got my little everything set up. There's rats running around, but time to chow down on this fish, see how it turned out. Super good, man. Freaking epic. Doesn't need anything. Actually, it could use something. I could use some fresh lemon juice. Highly doubt there's any on this island though. Dude, that is freaking insane. I don't know if it's just so good or I'm just so hungry. Or probably be both. Man. Crunchy too. I like that batter. Rice flour. Worked out. Hmm. All right, well. Your rat chilling over there. Well, I am going to probably sign off for the night and I'll see you guys in the morning. You guys just woke up. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the drone up and get some sunrise footage. Oh, so I'll see you guys out there. Riders. So I went ahead and got the bug screen up because I didn't want to take any chances. I got bit by one, um, one mosquito. So I didn't want to take any chances and have to set it up in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's what I'm rocking with. I'm about to throw the coffee on the uh, burner and pack up and get up out of here. I've right, been packing camp, going and got this uh, sweet little French press. Got this stuff pretty hot and boiled. I got some uh, 
fresh coffee. Stuff is hot, we need to let it cool down a bit. It's gonna relax. All right, so I'm all packed up, got everything ready to go. Leaving no trace of anything behind. So I've got all my trash, I even picked up a little bit extra, but I am heading my way back to the mainland. It is definitely a much smoother ride going with the wind. It's gonna be a nice cruise back. Ooh, look at this. <coughs> look how clear it is. Freaking sick. So still. Woo. This is my kind of paddle boarding weather. So sick. Oh God, it just hooked up on something. Big old rock. <laughs> Gotta watch out. Made it back, had to drag around a little bit, but we are back. I'm gonna bring this stuff to the truck and I'll see you guys up there at the car. All right guys, I'm all packed up, ready to go home. If you guys enjoyed the whole episode, go ahead and give it a like. If you wanna see more stuff like this, go ahead and comment below, give me some ideas. I love doing this. I really had a good time making the video. And you know, if same thing, if you're new here, definitely subscribe. Got a lot of content like this coming out and I have a lot of fun doing it and I enjoy producing it and bringing you guys with me. So if you guys are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button, like the video, and like always, I will catch you guys later. <laughs> yeah.